What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. After five, five months of waiting, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's DLC Wave 2 is finally here. And just like I did with Wave 1, I'm going to rank all the tracks and give my thoughts on them because I played the tour tracks. Okay, one of them was new to me basically and another new track. So yeah, and I can definitely say that this wave and not just a track, sec track section alone, I mean, duh, it is. But it's infinitely better than the first wave. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with that, honestly. Like, Ninja Highway and Coconut Mall were great, but the rest of them were just ranged to to good, to decent, to straight up mid. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, so let's go and talk about... Oh, yeah! Coconut... Speaking of Coconut Mall, apparently Nintendo made the update now that the cars move. Instead of moving back and forth, the shy guys drive in a circle, going all crazy! This is going to be a little more interesting compared to uh, the Wii version and 7. So yeah, I'm glad they changed that to make a course actually playable now. So yeah, it won't be so boring to drive on that street anymore. And uh, they also fixed some of the changes with Toad Circuit, which I don't really care for Toad Circuit, to be honest. I don't really care about any of the beginner tracks, honestly, but it's nice that they changed that for people that care about the graphics. We'll talk about that in a bit. So yeah, um, now I will say that criticism is valid with how the tracks look. Let's start off with the bad. Mario Circuit 3. It's funny that that track looks way different compared to Donut Plains 3. <laughs> it makes Donut Plains 3 look like a masterpiece. I'm joking. It's a SNES track. I don't really like it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, interesting there. I don't really care for Mario Circuit 3, although I had a bit of nostalgia for it in Wii. It's just pretty much the same experience, honestly. Um... What else we got here? Uh, Calamari Desert from Mario Kart 64. It's still one of my favorites from N64. I love that you can actually... Oh, sh Okay, I'm back. Uh, I love how you can actually drive on the tracks this time. So, <clears throat> yeah, definitely a top tier N64 track. And from Data Miners, which, which I'm going to make a video on that a little later. It looks like Data Miners are saying that there might not be any more N64 tracks. Rip DK Jungles Parkway. We're going to talk about more of that in the video. So yeah, still top tier track. Uh, Snowland from Mario Kart Super Circuit. I really don't like Mario Kart Super Circuit, but Snowland really blew my expectations, and the remix is so damn good. Easily one of my favorite snow courses now, honestly. It makes me more interested in Super Circuit tracks <laughs> to see how they'll change. So yeah. Um, and of course, the top tier track, Waluigi Pinball. Still a fun track to race on. I know it's different compared to the other... I know, uh, okay, it's not that different, really. The art style still fits. And then there's a theme, like, you know, the theme is very similar to Wario Sam, which I kind of expected, to be honest. I thought every track was going to get a remix song, but I did have that taste. So I was like, oh, we're going to finally get a Waluigi remix? There's plenty of them on YouTube, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Waluigi Pinball is still fun and easily my favorite of the whole wave, too. So, yeah. Next up we got is Mushroom Gorge. It's still a top-tier track. Didn't get a remix. Because it was already a great re song to begin with. <laughs> Hope we get Toad Factory in there because, man, that would be amazing. Alright, and then we had some other tracks. We got Sydney Sprints. I haven't played it in the tour, and I'm obsessed with the music now. The track is so good. It makes me more excited for tour tracks. I know there's a lot of tour tracks, so people who probably play tour may not like this. But I'm going to like this, honestly, just to see what tour tracks are there. I hope Vancouver Velocity gets at it because it's easily one of my easily my favorite from tour to be honest. But from the ones I played, so I'd love to see this one get added. Next up is New York uh, Minute. I did play this track in Mario Kart Tour when it was when I first played the game. Uh, yeah, still amazing track, and the music is so good, man. It makes me the track makes me wish Pauline was a playable character because she is easily one of my favorite Mario characters. Uh, a close second for being my. Uh, my favorite Mario female. If Rosalina wasn't around, she'd be my favorite. <laughs> so, yeah. And last but not least, being a new track, Sky High Sunday and Ice Cream Course. It is more of a loop track, but it's probably one of the better loop tracks, to be honest. It's still it's a nice track to race on, honestly. So, yeah, it's going to be added in tour eventually. So, yeah. All right, I don't think I got really much to say about the other tracks, and I won't disagree. I had no, I, I guess I should say this for new people here. I don't really care about the art style of the tracks, in my opinion. Although, if I'm noticing something a little bit different, like the circuit tracks, example being Toad Circuit and Mario Circuit 3, I will understand, honestly. That's why I'm sort of just in the middle with the whole tracks being out of place compared to the base game tracks looking amazing. And especially when you read posts like this. 
Warning, I'm about to go ape shit. So yeah, I really got no problem with the DLC, and I can understand this criticisms. But there are posts like this I read that people cannot handle opinions. There are two types of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe players in 2022. Those who highly enjoy this unrivaled gameplay. Those obsessed with the visual quality of the grass. Guess which ones have happier lives? Huh. Okay. If you enjoy this unrivaled gameplay, maybe you should look at the other boy types in the base game! This is- This doesn't make sense to me! Uh, Sunshine Airport, Bat Wario, Sweet Sweet Ken, Mario Circuit, so many! Look at these tracks! They actually look amazing! Why? These were all- These were all 2014- All back in 2014, on a console, y'all made fun of! A game that gave us Mario 3D World, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Smash Bros, Bayonetta, Pigment 3, not only games that played great, but actually looked great. So you're saying that the DLC were not allowed to criticize how the tracks look? Mario Circuit 3 looks really out of place compared to Donut Plains 3. I would not be complaining about graphics in 2022, but it's very noticeable when you compare it. I don't understand, like, this is the thing we're supposed to be accepting for? Like, look at the DLC Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. Tracks that look great. Wild Woods, Animal Crossing, Big Blue, New City. Those tracks looked amazing. So we have to basically accept this. Most people have been playing the same Mario Kart since 2014, eight years ago. Me, by the way, I've been playing the same Mario Kart since I got in middle school. This is ridiculous. So we're saying we can't criticize something that we want to do better? Okay, I'm gonna chill now. I... Normally don't like bring up these posts sometimes, but I just can't help that people like this want their billion dollar can't let their billion dollar company be criticized just because we want them to do better. Uh, enjoy Mario Kart 8, y'all. I'm going back to Waluigi Pinball. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around for more. Later, folks. <laughs>